Hey guys, I finally reached 1k subscribers. Thank you so much for making this happen. I am so happy regarding that. Coming back to video, today's video is Top 5 Similar Benton Omnivore Serians and Slepterra Slugs. This may be the last video between Benton and Slepterra comparison series. So, hope you guys enjoy it. 1. Shock Swatch and Taser Link Shock Swatch is an alien with electric power. He can release electricity bolts from his body, from his hands, from his mouth. He has other powers like using static electricity and attacking, etc. And we all know the most popular electric slug, which is Taser Link. Taser Link slugs can form protective shields or attack with their electric power. They can even manipulate electric devices like we saw in episodes The Journey Home and The Thrill of Hill. The electric experts of both series are similar, right? 2. Gravatag and Slick Silver Gravatag is one of my favorite aliens introduced in Benton Omnivers. It felt really amazing to see an alien with gravitational powers. In Slug Terra, we don't have a gravity powered slug, but the slug Slick Silver can be considered most similar to Gravatag. Slick Silver have magnetic power to control metallic objects. In Slug Terra Slug 2 Showdown, we get to see Slick Silver a lot as Junji and Eli uses them training. Also, in episode Slug Ball, we see Slick Silver making circular magnetic fields. It's too powerful and remains of Gravatag when he turns into a planet and rotates thing around him. Gravatag is a lot powerful than Slick Silver, but still, gravitational and magnetic powers are fundamental forces, and I think they both can be considered similar. 3. Topic and Fred Gist Topic is Ben's scariest alien. The sight of Topic's face can cause adverse effects like terror and insanity. We saw Siphon, Arjit, Jambazo getting so terrified by seeing Topic's face. And we all know the slug that scares people, which is Fred Gist. Eli uses Fred Gist to scare Nacho and some other daughter black dents. The scaring power is similar to both. 4. The Worst and Flopper I don't hate Floppers or the alien worst. The only reason I brought up this comparison is lack of powers and transformation. The worst is a yellow, fat, round blob-like alien. It is indestructible on the outside but still feels the pain. It doesn't have any powers and the Slugtera slug with no powers and transformation is a flopper. That's why I compared both. Just a reminder, every slug is useful. Floppers, huh? Great! What's the great? Floppers are useless! Every slug is useful. I doubt that such a spineless slug can be our key to victory. Every slug is useful, Pronto. Even floppers. Don't forget the moment when Ira uses a flopper to knock Iron Warrior's controlling band. 5. Gutrot and Neotox Gutrot is an alien that can be considered as walking laboratory. It can produce different chemicals inside the body and emit them. We saw Ben using different chemicals to defeat Dr. Animo to make them pets run away and to attract waybats in null void. Much like Neotox produces toxic gas that can paralyze the opponent. I know we haven't seen Gutrot producing this kind of chemical on screen, but I am sure it's possible with this power. So I felt the chemical producing alien and the toxic gas producing slug can be considered as similar. What do you guys think about this? I tried hard to find other comparisons as I am not 100% sure with the Gutrot and Neotox comparison. But I ran out of ideas even after thinking for 2 weeks. Do you guys have any similar comparisons between Benden Omnivore Salience and Slepterra Slugs that I missed? Please let me know in comments. Also, please check my previous comparison videos of Benden Classic, Benden Alien Force, Benden Ultimate Alien with Slepterra. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.